in my previous video i shared with you the fact that um fish stock can change in genealogy based on how you group them right you face the fact that i have um guppies mollies sawtail all living in the same um container now these are my sawtail and my um my guppies right um just a quick notation here um the question is asked how can i adjust the the type of guppies or mollies or sawtail in which i have now one of the simplest way to do it is to first get the fry of a guppy molly sawtail now after getting the fry of the guppy molly sawtail the fry should be a couple days old um preferably like um a one day old or um a couple hours old right that mean no mixture between sexes um have taken place because if you didn't know guppies can actually get pregnant from us from us a couple of days old right so the first thing you do you you have to have a lot of containers right and then what you would do you would for example the the guppy would push out a guppy would push out like probably about 20 or let's say 30 40 fries but you want um say you want hyphen or you want so tail guppy right what you would do you would get a guppy fry or uh, probably three or four guppy fry put them in five separate containers and separate them um so none of them intermix with each other you don't know which one is male you don't know what which one is female right and you do that and you grow them independently of each other now when they have actually mature and you have actually identified that these fish are male or female then now um you would still separate them then now you'll get your short tail and you do the same thing so you would, the short tail will have fries you separate the fries one two three four five containers right so let's say that you have hyphen short tail and you want some hyphen guppies or you want some short tail um guppies now when the fry is a couple hours old or probably a couple day old you'll separate them um from the container in which they actually originate now after a couple of weeks and you have actually identified the male or the female um sword tail then now what you would do you will get a, a single container where you replace one male guppy with one female um sword tail or the vice versa one female sword tail with one um, um male male guppy right and you will have them in that container for a couple months well now should that guppy actually get pregnant right that guppy being pregnant giving birth to fries these fries would be a mixed breed between both short tail and guppy because remember both the guppy and the short tail are live bearers right so if your babies um mature and not knowing the different sexes that may exist within their genealogy as soon as another sex have actually arise in the container where it, it is at you will find that um they will start to intermix thus you will end up with sword tail copies or sword um guppy hyphen right and doing this on occasion what you'll find is that um you will have a special mix or special genealogy of the fish in which you have right um some persons do this with guppies so as to get for example look at my guppies my guppies have several colors right because i i wear all of them in the same container right so you have some purple some red some yellow some blue some orange right um tail guppies right now these guppies are all intermixed so a red tail guppy for me can give me a blue or a purple or a yellow tail or, or a, um, what I call it, a gold guppy right now if i want only purple tail guppies in my aquarium or in my stock what i would do right is to each time my fries are are born i would wait until when they are mature enough to give me color and then now I would separate them based on the color 
So I would put all the red tail one side, all the orange tail one side, all the purple tail one side, and eventually I'll have aquariums with the different colors. Now this is time. This takes time, right? And um, some persons so extreme in guppy coloration that they actually call the guppies that are not to their likings. So therefore, they only want, they only keep gold guppies. So therefore, if the gold guppies do give fries that are blue or red or orange or purple they will use those guppies to feed other fish stock in which they may have right i do not do that i just wear all my guppies together and if they choose to interbreed with another live bear such as the mollies or the or the sword tail um so be it but this is how they are doing it right some persons do it in a lab in a lab why some persons do it like me, they will have a big container with just two fish, whether it be guppy and a sword tail or sword tail and a molly, right? male and female. And eventually, it will take a little time, quicker than, sorry, longer than if it was of the same genealogy, right? But it should be practically that variation, right? Um, so, this video is practically to explain you to you that color variation in guppy can be manipulated by you the fish keeper or the fish breeder right it's just for you to have patience and also for you to have space because you, you're gonna need um several tanks when you're doing this right you're gonna need um the time because you know you're gonna be have to watching have to be watching um the fish as to when they breed um when they mature and separate them so as to ensure that you get what you want now in jamaica the whole idea of guppy coloration is not a here nor there because once a guppy the price practically the same right between 85 dollars a one to 100 dollars a one right so the price is not really much on it right persons will do that in jamaica just to get the coloration to let the tanks look pretty but as far as other countries are concerned let's say in japan right or in sections of america um guppy coloration is of such importance that the color of the guppy may determine the price of the guppy thank you very much for watching fish keeper jamaica rally here for another video join me next time i hope this video was informative bye bye